Ciao a tutti! Oggi io facciamo spaghetti alla carbonara. Per primo, fry the bacon. Or if you have pancetta, use that, but you can use bacon. Okay, avrete bisogno di burro, butter, spaghetti, spaghetti, uh, due uovo, uno, due, a panna festa, so cream from the store, um, sale a pepa, pepperino, grana padana, you should not substitute anything, use grana padana and parmigiana, okay? Some of you know that I lived in Italy for a few years and I had a lovely time there meeting and people and their customs and traditions and the recipes. This actually comes from a recipe book that I got thrift shopping in Italy. So anyway, I absolutely love to use it because they have beautiful pictures and I love reading Italian. This just makes me feel like I'm there again. So anyway, I got numerous recipe books from them. I loved going thrift shopping. I actually, I don't like it here, but I loved it there because I got to see all the things that they were like, I don't want that anymore. And I was like, oh, I don't have that. I need that. So it was so much fun. So yes, I do have a thing for Italian. But my pancetta is almost done. I need to flip it. Okay, also I have my water. I'm getting that ready for boiling my spaghetti. And my pancetta is cooking nicely. And I'm going to cut that up. That was a good piece of here with my basil plant. It came from Italy. So I'm gonna take a couple of leaves of basil. Should have taken it from the bottom. The bottom ones are usually better. <sighs> it smells so good. The smell is like no other. Oh my gosh. Okay, the water is boiling. So we're gonna add our pasta. Can use whatever pasta you want. I actually use fettuccine. You're going to stir your pasta, otherwise it will stick together. So you want to stir it up and we'll let that boil. There's our basil and pancetta. And as soon as the pasta is finished, we're gonna add the eggs to it. Cause it needs to be very hot so it will cook the eggs. Okay, so go ahead and measure your salt and pepper. So the salt is a half a teaspoon and the pepper is like a pinch. Um, actually add what you think that you would like. And I'm actually putting it in a bowl right now. So go ahead and measure that stuff out. Okay, so I got my half a teaspoon of salt. And now for my pepper, it's actually a grinder. Let me show you. Okay, that was about 10 twists of my grinder. But anyway, it's basically a pinch. But when you use a grinder, it's hard to pinch it. So, it is what it is. Also, Italians tend to 
cook from their heart. So if your family doesn't like salt at all, don't put salt in it. It's from your heart, it's for your family. And it just makes it that much more sweet, like how they, they cook things, it's just lovely. Okay, and so I had this one pint of heavy whipping cream because I didn't have any panna fresca because we don't really have that here. I don't know, maybe there's like a dairy somewhere. And I'll just pour that, pour that whole thing in. I have to have a teaspoon of garlic. You always have to put garlic in it. Okay, I don't really measure that when I'm cooking. Um, measuring, eh, I kind of eyeball it. But since you're here, I thought I would at least kind of show you what I do. I'm gonna put my spaghetti away. And I'll put my garlic away. I always like to clean up as I go because that way once it's done, I'm done too. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this again to make sure everything's still moving about. No, I did not add olive oil to the water. They don't really do that, at least in Northern Italy, so I just sort of follow what they do. You put the oil on afterwards, because otherwise, what, you just poured it all down the sink. So I don't wanna do that. Anyway, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put this away. This is what they mean by Parmesan. Parmigiano. It's in a brick. This, oh no, don't ever use something like this. Not if you want it to taste like, mm, so fresh and so good. Don't ever pick that up. I just thought I would let you know so that you did pick up the correct stuff. And there's the Grana Padana. I love Grana Padana. It tastes a lot like Parmesan, but better cook your pasta until it's done enough for you. Whenever you're done, just go ahead and go strain it. I need to go put this back away. I don't want anybody to think I used it. Ah! We're going to separate our egg. The yolk is what we're actually going to use. So you wanna dump your white in here. And if you just put it back and forth in your shell, the shell actually makes the white and yolk separate. Okay, so there's your white, which you can use for something else. And there's the yellow. It's time to go ahead and dump this. Okay, immediately place it back on the burner. Pour a little bit of olive oil in. You can never put too much. Actually, the Italians always said that you pour in your, <laughs> and, and go ahead and put in your egg yolk and then stir it up quickly. Uh, they, they would always say, pour in your olive oil and then turn your head and pour in some more. <laughs> so in other words, yeah, pour in a bunch. Okay, so we have the egg yolk covering the pasta. Now I'm gonna add some butter. So a tablespoon and a half of butter. And then that with your olive oil and the egg yolk. I'm gonna stir that around. And as you see, the egg is starting to cook and separate out onto the pasta itself. That's what you want it to do. So now you're gonna add in your cream salt, pepper, and garlic. Add your cheeses and your pancetta. I bought a rotisserie chicken. So I am going to add chicken and pancetta and the rest of the cream. I'm going to add the rest of the cream going to squirt a little lemon, add a little freshness along with my basil. I still need to cut my basil. Okay, so look at this guys. 
We're gonna stir in the bacon and the rest of the mixture, all of the cheese. The cheese is only supposed to add a little flavor, but if you prefer a lot of cheese, you go right ahead. But it's supposed to be a very light and airy type flavor. It is not a light meal, or we wouldn't have added all of that uh, heavy whipping cream. I am going to put roughly two cups of chicken in here. So there's the two cups of chicken. Just stir it into the mixture. If you wanted this to be really lovely, you could actually leave some of the bacon cubettes out. As well, you could just slice some chicken slices on the top. But this way, yeah, I think everybody needs to talk and get to know each other. And that way, they all complement each other's flavors. Okay, and here's your lovely meal. This would go well with green beans with pine nuts or almonds, because I think there needs to be a little bit more color. Everything looks like it's yellow, white, but this tastes wonderful. Okay, let me know what you think. Bellissimo. Oh yeah, and don't forget to squeeze a little lemon on the top. Mm. Oh, ciao! Bellissimo. Okay, ciao tutti.